So we wanted to let you know you are not alone. Many women have gone through this. Many women are going through this. These concerns are very common. There's a lot of different information out there to maneuver. Um, and that's why we're here. We are good at this stuff. We're passionate about it. And we really want to help you on your pregnancy journey. So let's get into it. What happens to the body during pregnancy? So there are numerous changes that occur, both biomechanical and hormonal. And all these changes really impact one's ability to exercise, but also even just carrying out day-to-day -day function. So some of these changes include weight gain, a shift in your center of gravity, an increased lumbar lordosis, which is basically just an increased curvature of your lumbar spine, an anteriorly rotated pelvis, your pelvic floor muscles and your abdominal muscles become stretched and weakened, and you have more hormone levels of relaxin, and that leads to your ligaments, which are structures that connect bone to bone. They just become very loose, very lax and overstretching. And all these changes, they occur to help accommodate the growing baby. But of course, you know, this really does change your way, how your body moves, how you position yourself. And we have to consider these changes when we think about prescribing exercise. So with these changes, we see a lot of common conditions in clinic that are associated with pregnancy. The two most common are low back pain and pelvic girdle pain. More than 20% of women experience pelvic girdle pain and more than 66% of women who are pregnant experience low back pain. So pretty high numbers. Another common condition is pelvic floor dysfunction. And this is what I see a lot as a pelvic floor physiotherapist. So I see things like um, increased urge, frequency, uh, incontinence, pelvic organ prolapse, and even pelvic pain. And this is all due to the changes that are occurring in the pelvic floor with pregnancy. Now I will say these three conditions I just mentioned, they're common, but they're not normal. They shouldn't just automatically happen with pregnancy. There's lots we could do to prevent that. Now the last point here, diastasis recti, I'm sure a lot of you have heard that. Basically what it is, is it's a widening of your midline of your abdomen. And this is a normal process. It, it has to happen for the baby to grow and for you to grow. Um, but there's a lot of fear around this condition in the literature and out on the internet. And I just wanna say this is normal, okay? The top three I listed, not normal, but common. Diastasis recti is a normal process. Now, what we have to be careful with diastasis recti is with that widening, we need to make sure we're maintaining the integrity and the strength and be able to kind of load the core under certain tensions with that separation.